This lesson is on perfect squares. We'll begin by reviewing the properties of a square. A square has four equal sides. A square also has four equal angles. Do you remember the measure of each angle? Each angle measures 90 degrees. Next, you may recall the area of a rectangle is length times width. Since a square has four equal sides, its area can be thought of as being width times width. W times W can be written as W to the power of 2. And in math, anything to the power of 2 is said to be squared. So our formula becomes A equals W squared. Now let's do some examples. Let's calculate the area of this first square together. We'll use our area formula. A equals W squared. We know the width is 1. So A equals 1 squared. 1 squared we know means 1 times 1, which of course equals 1. So the area of this first square is 1 centimeter squared. Now, I want you to use the area of this first square to help you find the area of these other squares. We're going to refer to the area of this first square as a unit square because it has an area of 1. How many of these unit squares would fit inside the second square? There would be four unit squares that would fit nicely inside. Now, let's confirm this by using our area formula, A equals W squared. This time, our width is 2. So the area becomes 2 squared, which is 2 times 2, and we get an area of 4 centimeters squared. Now, I want you to follow these two steps for these last two squares. First, picture how many unit squares would fit inside, and then confirm your answer by using your area formula, A equals W squared. For this third square, there are nine unit squares that would fit inside. And for our formula, width would be 3, so A equals 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, or 9 square centimeters. Finally, our fourth square would accommodate 16 unit squares, and this is confirmed in our area formula with a width of 4 being 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, which is in fact 16 square centimeters. The answer for these area questions, 1, 4, 9, and 16, represent perfect square numbers. What would be the next perfect square to come after 16? To create a perfect square, you simply square a whole number. The next whole number after 4 would of course be 5, which would correspond to a square having a width of 5. We'll square 5, which we know means 5 times 5, which of course is 25. And this would correspond to a square having an area of 25 unit squares, or 25 square units. Take a moment and fill in the following table of perfect squares. You should memorize these first 20 perfect squares, as they will show up a lot in math and science over the next few years.